Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today we're going to be finishing off this statue of King Leonidas from 300. Okay guys, so this is uh, an unlicensed statue originally, I bought on eBay, and uh, it was titled Spartan Warrior. Now obviously you could tell it was supposed to be Gerard Butler's character, King Leonidas from 300, and the main giveaway is the uh, is this little necklace piece. But uh, but to get around licensing laws, they couldn't call it King Leonidas and they couldn't call it 300, so it was just Spartan Warrior. So. Uh, but seeing it, I knew what it was supposed to be, so I thought, oh, that'll be a good statue to paint up. So I got about 60% the way through the build, and I was really enjoying it. But unfortunately, due to a house move, this fella got packaged up and then pushed at the back of a cupboard. And he hasn't seen the light of day until today, when I've decided to uh, give him some much, uh, much love TLC. So yeah, so... Uh, Back then I wasn't doing in-depth videos like I do now, so unfortunately I don't have footage of me getting to this stage, but I do have photographs of the build, I did record some photographs. So all I can do for this section is to show you a, like a bit of a video montage and then hopefully that'll um, bring you up to speed to, uh, to what we are now. So uh, roll VT. So now that you're all caught up, and uh, and the dust has been uh, <laughs> has uh, has been uh, brushed off this, so now we can crack on back on with the build. So the first thing I want to do is to go back in with some red and redo this cape because this cape hasn't uh, fared well uh, in uh, in storage. So yeah, so uh, let's start with that.
Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry. Okay guys, now I'm going to go in and spruce up some of the browns. Okay guys, now I'm just going to give him another eye. Okay guys, that has been a bit stubborn. I'll come back in a little bit for that. But uh, yeah, for the next part I might go ahead and I might spruce up the black again. Okay guys, so now that all the base colours have been topped up again, for the next stage I'm going to go in with some brown, dark brown watercolour and I'm going to go over all the flesh tones to give them a bit more of a, like a, like a sunburn bronze look. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go in with some uh, dark green watercolour and I'm just going to add a little tiny little bit in some of the nooks and crannies of the rocks because we'll go ahead and we'll add some moss at a later stage. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with a little bit of black watercolour and I'm just going to uh, add some uh, shade into some of the parts of the cape.
guys so for the next part I'm gonna go in with the same black watercolor and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to the bits of uh, metal bits to the spear and then a little bit more shading to the uh, to the helmet Okay guys, I'm going to add a little bit more black and I'm going to do the feet because obviously uh, from walking around and fighting and all the dust and all that, his feet would be uh, a lot darker. Okay guys, so uh, from wearing the helmet, there'll be a lot of shadows casted in that area. So same again, I'm going to go in with the black and I'm just going to add a little bit of a layer there. Okay guys, there's a few little tiny little bits of flesh areas that I need to top up on so I'm going to have to go back in with a uh, Humbrol number 61 regular flesh colour. Okay guys, I'm going to go in with a little tiny bit of red watercolour and I'm going to emphasise the lips. Okay guys, so I need some parts of that to dry before I can continue on with other parts. But uh, while we're waiting, I'm thinking about uh, adding some moss, so we'll do that in the next stage. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some of this stuff, which is uh, scenic grass scatter. And uh, I'm going to take an old stipple brush, that's a bit on the knackered side, and I'm going to use some regular PVA glue. And I'm just going to get into all the little nooks and crannies between all the little rocks and etc. And then we're going to sprinkle some of this stuff, we'll leave it to dry and then at a later stage we'll go over with some gloss varnish to give it a wet moist look and then it'll look like uh, moss. So yeah, so let's get cracking.
Okay guys, this is usually a good point to uh, get a little bit of water and then just brush away some of the parts so you don't have any parts like sticking to the cape and things like that. Okay guys, I think that uh, I think that's worked out okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll leave this to dry and then we'll gently blow off the excess and then maybe we can add a bit of a uh, bit of varnish. Okay guys, so this should have now glued, so we'll carefully brush off the excess. That's all definitely uh, stuck down now. So for the next part, now I went ahead and uh, I looked on Thingiverse and I found a file for a Spartan sword and uh, I put it into matter control on my computer and then I uh, upped the size and the scale and then I sliced it down the middle and made it into two halves and then I, then I printed it out on uh, PLA filament and uh, this is what I've got. So I've got two halves of uh, of the same sword. So in theory, I'm thinking about maybe using this. Now in the film, I I think the sword was on this side, but unfortunately, there's no room to model that. You'd literally only have like the bottom of the sword poking out, and it would look a bit weird. So. The only other options is put it in the hand and replace the spear, like that, or uh, make it up and then hang it from his from this side instead, like that. So this would be the best best place visually for it because uh, obviously it would stand out. So I'm still on the fence with that because obviously I know it should be the other way around but uh, I don't really know what to do. So what I might do is I might glue this together now and then leave it overnight, file it all down, maybe grey prime it and then, and then see how I feel about it. Okay guys I'm just going to use some regular contact adhesive. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that a couple of hours to dry. Three hours later. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of hours, so it should be nice and dry now, so let's take a quick look. Okay guys, so as you can see there, we have a little bit of uh, glue coming out the sides, but I can easily just trim that off uh, in the next stage. Uh, this needs sanding down a little bit because it's quite um, coarse or it's quite rough in the middle there. Same a little bit on the other side. So yeah, I suppose we best get uh, filing.
Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've got that as clean as I can for the first pass. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use a little bit of this stuff, which is wood filler. And I'm just going to rub it across and it's going to get into all the little nooks and crannies. And then we'll leave that to dry and then we'll give it another sand. And then hopefully we can uh, grey prime it after that. Okay guys, so go ahead and I'll leave that a couple of hours to dry. Okay guys, so while we wait for that to dry, I might as well go in with some gloss varnish and go over these green scatter parts and make it uh, mimic wet moss. Okay guys, so now we're waiting for that and the soil to dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a few little uh, touch up bits. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I uh, fixed up the sod, uh, I just, it's basically just uh, a little bit of wood filler put on there, uh, sanded smooth and then uh, just grey primed and then given a hint of silver from a spray can. So unfortunately there's only three options with this, so option A is to put it on this side of the leg here, but that's not correct to the film because over on the, on the film it's on the other side. Uh, then the other option is to uh, get rid of the the spear and then have the sword instead. But if I'm truthfully honest, I think the spear looks more uh, interesting than what the sword would be. And the third option would be to try and get it under the shield so the bottom of the sword is poking out. But unfortunately, because the head is uh, quite on the thick side, it won't go up under the thing, under the shield. So the only other option I have is to cut the top off and then try and glue the sword from underneath so it is only just poking out the bottom. So yes, out of the three options I think that's probably my favourite. It's not ideal but uh, it's probably the most accurate uh, to the piece. So yes, yeah, so let's cut the top off and uh, see how we get on. Alright, if I'm truthfully honest guys, that's probably going to be about as best as we're going to get. It's, uh... Yeah, that's probably about as best we're going to get. So yes, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll add some super glue to the bottom of this and then we'll push it up into place and then hopefully we can uh, work around that. So it's not perfect but at least I suppose it's a little bit more accurate. Right, 
Okay guys, I seems to have glued okay, so uh, like I said it's not perfect but at least it, uh, it's a little bit more accurate. So yeah, so we'll leave that to dry and then we'll crack on with a few touch-ups. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm just going to go in with a little bit of uh, gun metal and I'm just going to uh, add a bit of a uh, bit more of a darker tone to some of the metal parts. Okay guys, I think he's finished. Butters, tonight we dine in hell! Okay guys, so that's this one all built up and finished now, so I hope you enjoyed this quick look at video. If you did like it, please smash that like button and share on Facebook and Twitter, because it helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you for your help. If you have any comments, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is King Leonidas from the epic film 300. Uh, statue repaint. Thank you for watching. See you next time